In some problems on linear programming, take that place. Oh, yeah, listen now. It's okay. Listen first. So you don't miss it up. Take that place. In some problems on linear programming, where the table is not given, like in the one you see in your exam. In some problems in linear programming, or in some problems on linear programming, where the table is not given, comma, look out for the following. In some problems on linear programming, where the table is not given, look out for the following. Number one, number one, the type of item given. Number one, the type of item given. Number two, so look out for these things. Number one, the type of item given. Number two, the type of materials used. Number three, the time slash profit of each. The time slash profit of each. That is. Finally, number four. The quantity available slash objective. Finally, number four. The quantity available slash objective for the motion. The quantity available slash objective condition. So in every question, look out for four things. Four things. Number one, type of item. Number two, type of materials used. Number three, the profit or the time given. Number four, quality available or objective function. Continue please. It should be listed in the pattern below. That's what okay. It should be listed in the pattern below. If you've done this already, it should be cut there, I go. It should be listed um, in the pattern below the harvest. Look up, please. Look up. Let's use this format to get a table. Look up, please. Now, don't forget. In every question, focus on four things. Type of item, type of material used, profit or time, then quantity available or objective for, uh, contribution. Check them, look up, check them. It says a food vendor can make what there? Two types of what? Drinks. So look up, please. We said type of item should be here. So my first task, construct this table. I'm having this one here. Which is this part? I have this part here. Yeah? So it's not look at it. It's what like one line, two lines, one line, second line. Between the first and second, okay, get this one first. So I'll get this one first. Okay. Divide there like this down. Divide this down. Then finally, get this part, which is this. So this is my thing. They said on this part, put what there? Type of item. Look at me. He said a food vendor has two types of what? Drinks. What are what there? A and B. Those are the type of item. A and B. It will come here. So on this part, I put A. And then I put what there? B. Type of item. A and B. Got it. I'm done with this one. Now it says a liter of type A contains. 2 milligram of orange juice and what again there? 3 milligram of what? Pineapple. Type of material used to make A. For A, I need two materials. Orange juice and what there? Pineapple. We said put it here. Type of material. So yes, I will have O for orange juice. You can write it with words. Okay? Orange juice. Yeah. Pineapple, pineapple juice. Because these are the two materials used to make the type of item. Okay. Next up says uh, B contains. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. They said A contains what? Yeah. 
so many people make of orange juice to be cut for that two you can add that in milligram one two right orange juice in milligram so two but by that how many three three so it becomes three okay all right like eight on eight two of orange juice three milligram of pineapple juice next up says a liter of type B contains what there? 4 milligrams. So for B, 4 milligrams of orange juice. And what do you get there? 5 milligrams of what? Pineapple juice. So I'm there. Next up says, there are not more than what? Check your question now. Of what? That is given there. Is it quantity available? Or is it function? So you now minimize this on that list. 